Wait. Ah! Wait. This is starving. Wait, wait, it's not turning. I oh, know, it's broken. You gotta do it manually. Oh, <laughs> see how its heads, her heads all. Oh, they unscrewed his head. Oops. <laughs> this is one of our latest finds. Isn't that unusual? Hi, you all. Should we say hi, hi y'all? Let me try it again. Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Is How We Rock. And we want to show you our brand new minimal kitchen. Minimal kitchen, okay? Very minimal. This That's time right. I had it the way I really wanted it. So it's going to be a really brief tour. There's not much All to right. show. When you're minimal, there's not much to happening. Not really. We have changed this oh, in so many like ways. That. It was packed full of cabinets and uh, out of date yeah. countertops. Yeah. Cabinet. And uh, it was really oh, bottoms, confining feeling. And uh, the way she wanted it was very simple, very open. We had Formica backsplash. I had to rip it all off. It left some really bad marks in the wall. So I had to retexture all the walls. We ripped all the cabinets out and we installed butcher block tops. Very minimal. But the end result also is very. Uh, simple and relaxing feeling you walk in here it's really simple and i like that even show All us right. the tour my, my wife if you've seen any of our other videos for years and years she she didn't like kitchen cabinets I'm okay so finally i gave in and took them all out and now I, I i i don't mind it at all i like it but so we just put two open shelves this is the only storage i have these are my cabinets these two shelves she likes to have the matter, the number of plates that you need. Okay, so my wife likes to have. I guess you're doing the tour. Just the only. <laughs> you're doing the, the tour. The only amount of plates that you're gonna need. Because uh huh. Any more plates than that, she Results can't sleep to at a night. Mess. That's she right. She can't sleep at night. That's she right. Can't count them and all kinds of weird stuff. So if you watch The Little House in the Prairie. Yeah. We probably have less stuff than they do. Yeah, isn't so, that cool? But that's my wife's style. So. All right, so I got my wooden balls here. I got my pitcher. And this is all I need to bake my pies. Some vintage stuff right here. My candles. I love candles. I put candles all the time. So if it was for me, I would cut off the electric. And my teacups. These are my plates from my grandma in Sicily right here. I still have them and this is my eclectic glass collection I'm trying to recreate the rainbow so I'm kind of missing a couple of colors but I'm getting there and this is all I have as far as glassware and these are everyday and dishes my, oh sorry that's my cordless flashlight that yeah should, what is it doing there, there still that okay. should be in the garage right what okay. about a Berkey filter this is a Berkey water filter guys this thing is awesome you fill it up with water here from your sink or whatever the it, pond too. It filtrates fluoride, bacteria, arsenic, bacteria. Ninety-nine point nine percent of all of this. What she there, said. You can find. Anyways, it. apparently it's even better than bottled water. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it just comes down here and you just get water like that, and it's get really great. Water. It's really great. This is my very simple refrigerator right here because we had a big gigantic black refrigerator. Oops, it's out of focus. We might want to explain that some of the reasons that you're more simple now is because we spend a lot of time on the road, on tour and this and that. So being in hotels and being on the run, you're used to kind of not having a lot of stuff to lug around. And I love how you're doing go. my tour. So, Should I do a tour of your guitar room next? <laughs> so I'm just kind of letting you into the mind of my That's wife. Right. And this is my basket collection. So okay. here's what I keep all my teas and all my powders that I need to make, I'm sorry honey, to make smoothies with. Got my fruit basket right here, isn't it adorable? So I got my turmeric, alma powder, dandelions, teas, maca, moringa, blah blah blah, flax seeds, hemp seeds, ginger, chai tea, jasmine tea, chamomile tea, so all the good stuff I like it to be displayed and ready to use because if I keep it in the pantry I'm kind of more lazy to make myself smoothies so this way I see them I use them and this is it and then brilliant. we go right Simply here brilliant. and we got a juicer that we use on a daily basis the smoothie so I don't put them away because I really use them all the times and uh, 
my bamboo chopping board. This is it. My cute little window that I get to see the boots out from. Isn't what? it beautiful? All right, you guys, very quickly, I just wanted to let you know we're ready almost to open our honey and lavender farmhouse store where I'm gonna sell all the unique handmade pieces um, for like farmhouse decor. Because for me, uh, being a minimalist, I always like the minimal look, but I also like to make my house always feel like warm and cozy. And I think that by rescuing history, like all these pieces from the past, all these vintage collections uh, really brings the warm feeling into a house. It makes it look all nice and cute and just for the kids to grow up in here, I think it's fun just the, to give the eclectic look uh, that I love so much, but still keeping it minimal. So all these few little things, uh, they're gonna be up on our website pretty soon. So we're gonna uh, keep you updated on that. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram in the meantime at Honey Lavender Farmhouse so you can see some of the sneak peeks or the items that are going to be on sale pretty soon and I hope you get excited just like I am because I love this stuff. I still keep it very very minimal but I just love to add all these fun pieces and this is my little tiger. Very cool! Alright, Okay so here is the sink. Uh, Again, it's pretty basic. It doesn't even have this thing that comes out because I don't know why. Because I just my wife didn't want prefers anyways. it real simple. And though it does have this that comes out, yeah. So there it does you go. have that. Anyways, it's nice and clean, stainless steel. Uh, yeah, I we just were, wanted the farmhouse look. Is we it? were gonna get a wig white porcelain thing, mm -hmm. and it just didn't work out in the end with no. the cabinet and stuff. Yeah. So, but I think this is a great I choice. I prefer him. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. And I love how the window looks out into the forest there. That's my part. And I love oh. how the window looks out into the forest and stuff. That's my mom. Okay. That, Go ahead, Danny. That's my wife's. <laughs> now, this it's is really high corner. tech coffee making here. <laughs> this is how my wife prefers to do it. Pre electric. This is for me. I want to have stop oh gosh there's a baby on the stove i want to have stop i want to have refrigerator i'll have all the old way the old-fashioned yeah. way so here's my oil diffuser which do you want another trick hi you know what do hey, i do we got a monkey peeking in i use the oils directly into the plates right here and these cute little plates that i thrift yeah. and when you put them here by the window by the sun it releases the oils for the rest of the day. So this is my little oil diffusers with no need of electric. I, didn't I love even that. Know that. I didn't there even you know go. That. And then uh, yeah, my little board there. And these are my utensils. And you guys want to check out my drawers? Shall we? That's check all out. I got, guys. Check my out. little mittens, oven mittens. And my. <laughs> Does that actually work? <laughs> It works okay. great. We made pancakes the other day with that. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. I have a video that, actually to prove you that. Seriously, you were using that? Okay. Yes. And the kids okay. love that. You know that? Okay, that is cool. See, I told you. We're okay. saying hello to low tech. That's right. Off the grid. That's my ultimate dream. It doesn't let me go off the grid quite yet. And, uh, ooh. This is my utensil store, condensed into a little... Very simple. Sorry, I'm holding... Ariana, okay, there you go. And then uh, this is all I need. Let's see, I got a potato peeler, a pizza cutter, a can opener, funnels for the mason jars, and let's see, and the lighter. All righty. All right, all right, so here's the funny thing. On to my, the other side of the kitchen. My wife wanted a simple shelf. This piece of wood here was actually the wood that was screwed on the bottom of the refrigerator when I shipped it. But it, it works just fine. It works super cool. And it was a little thicker and it, it, looked, it, looked, it works great. So I got my pink salt, my oregano, just in case you wanted it. My paprika, my bay leaves, and my ginger, and my salt and pepper. And then this one came with us. That came, if you saw our last house, that was actually in the kitchen too. So we brought that with us. And just my minimalist stuff. Call me the, the trash can. If it was That's for it. me, I would have a fire there and a tripod and my pot cooking there every night dinner. Oh, Very my aprons. Minimal. All right, so this is one of my wife's little uh, 
antique shop finds. Hi, I Hi. think. Sorry, this is too cute. I think she's gonna put it over here somewhere. Is that what you just said? Yep. I think she's gonna put it over That's here. That's gonna be my apron angle. Aprons, which if you're minimal, you have an apron probably. Isn't that I cute? Guess, the little corner. Oh. All right. All right. I guess we're done with the tour because the kids are ready. And these to wild. Just go crazy. Kids outside are. They come with a deal here. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Subscribe to the bunny down below. And you see all the other things. Hi, guys.